inverse of the graph of function y is equal to fx is equal to second x. Now, second x is 1 upon cos x. So, this function is defined for non-zero values of cos x. This function may cos x ka value 0 nahi ho sakta. Theke na? Now, we first draw the graph of function y is equal to cos x. Okay? Now, here we consider first interval from minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2. This is one complete cycle of cos x. We can consider from 0 to 2 pi also, but here purposefully we are considering from minus pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2. Ye bhi to cos x ka ek complete cycle hai, theke na? The width of this interval is 2 pi. 2 pi is fundamental period of function cos x, theke na? Now for x is equal to minus pi by 2 or pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2, cos x is 0. That means for these three values of x function, second x is not defined. Okay. Now cos 0 is 1. When x is 0, value of uh, cos x is 1. That means second 0 is also 1. Okay. So we have this point on the graph of function second x. Now consider first quadrant. x belongs to 0 to pi by 2. Here, uh, function cos x decreases. So, function second x will increase. So, graph of function will be like this. When x tends to pi by 2, second x approaches to infinity. When x pi by 2 ko approach karega, second x plus infinity ko approach karega. Here, x is approaching to pi by 2 from its left hand side. Chike na? Now, consider fourth quarter x belongs to minus pi by 2 to 0. Here, function cos x increases. So, function second x will decrease. So, we have this graph of second x in fourth quarter. Here, when x approaches to minus pi by 2 from its right hand side, cos x approaches to 0, positive 0. The meaning of positive 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.000001. So, here value of second x approaches to plus infinity. So, here graph falls from plus infinity. Okay, It decreases, takes value of uh, 1 here at x is equal to 0 and then value increases. Take a second x here pe increase ho hai. Take a na? Cos pi is minus 1. So, second pi is also minus 1. Consider this interval x belongs to pi by 2 to pi. This is second quadrant. Here uh, cos function uh, decreases. Okay, So, second function will increase. So, we have this graph of second x in interval pi by 2 to pi. Now, this is third quadrant where cos x function increases from uh, minus 1 to 0. So, here second x function will decrease. So, we have this graph of second x. Okay. Similarly, we have graph of second x in the interval 3 pi by 2 to 7 pi by 2. Uh, next uh, complete cycle of function second x. Now, here a period of second x function is 2 pi. Cos x ka period 2 pi hai, toh second x ka period bhi kya hoga? 2 pi. So, we write here, period of function is 2 pi. Okay. What is domain of function? This function is not defined when cos x is 0. Cos x is 0 when x is minus pi by 2, pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 and so on. That means, uh, this function is not defined when x is uh, odd multiple of pi by 2. Means uh, x is uh, number of type 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2. So, domain of function is all real numbers excluding set of these numbers 2n plus 1 multiplied by pi by 2 where n belongs to set of integers. This is domain of function. And clearly, range of function is what is range of function? Range of function is minus infinity to minus 1, close interval here, union, close interval 1 to infinity. This range is same as the range of function cos x, x. Okay, cos x, x and second x ka range jo hai wo same hoga. Like sin x and cos x ka range same hota hai. Okay? So, we have a period 2 pi domain this and range minus infinity to minus 1, union 1 to infinity or we can write like this, all real numbers excluding uh, Open interval minus 1 to 1. ठीके? तो होप आपको एक ग्राफ समझ में आ गया. Hope you got the graph of second x. How we draw the graph of second x from the graph of uh, function cos x. ठीक है ना?
Clearly, this height is more than this height. So we have log of x2 to the base a greater than log x1 to the base a.